Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create reports and publish the reports using data visualization in Data Archive 6.2. Today's agenda is to create reports in data visualization using tables and also using SQL queries. We can either select a specific table and create a report or write a SQL query on a list of tables to generate a report using data visualization on the data vault. Next, we'll be seeing how to publish the uh, report to and from the JReport Designer. So we can create a report in JReport Designer and publish it to the JReport server, which we can run as a report or view as a report from the data visualization in the Data Archive 6.2. Similarly, we can also go ahead and uh, create a report in uh, data visualization and uh, download it to the J report designer and do modifications accordingly. So in order to create reports using data visualization, go to data visualization, reports and dashboard. In the reports and dashboard, I'll go to actions, new report. This is how I go ahead and create a new report. I'll be selecting the uh, target data vault, which I want my reports to be generated on. Uh, initially, I'll be showing how to create reports using tables. So next, it will show the list of tables that it the uh, data vault has. I'll be selecting the table. I'll go ahead and select the table once again here and specify the object name of my report. So I'm naming my table as test underscore query underscore table and giving next. So my next thing will be selecting the uh, page layout. I can label here which will be on top of the page. Next is which layout I want and the style which I want. I can either go ahead and save the report for now, which I can run later, or I can go ahead and run the report directly. So this is how my report will get generated. And uh, next we'll, we'll be seeing about how to generate reports using SQL query on the table. So it's the same way, go to actions, new, report select the target data instead of tables we'll be selecting the sql query now so we'll enter the query name test underscore query underscore one so i'm going to select count of star from the schema name dot table name and I need to validate my query. So my SQL query is validated. From here, it's the same as how we created the report using the tables. All these saved uh, reports can be run directly from run report option that is available in the actions. Next, we'll see how to uh, download the report from the server into the JReport Designer and also publish a report in the JReport Designer back to the JReport server. So I need to go to publish and download, download from server, download report from server. I need to specify the host name, port name on the servlet path and I need to give my username and password which is needed for logging in for the server logging into the server where i'll have the list of the catalog files and the reports that can be downloaded from the server i'll specify the destination directory where my uh, uh, reports needs to be downloaded on my local machine i can i'll go ahead and create a folder here and uh, reports score j report server so reports underscore j report server will be the folder into which my reports will be published so once i give publish 
and click on OK. My reports are getting published now. So once the report gets published, there will be a message asking the reports have been successfully downloaded. Would you like to download additional resources? I click on No. This is how we publish a report uh, from the JReport server to the JReport designer. We download it and we view it in the JReport designer. Now the other way where we have the reports in the JReport designer and we want it to publish it to the JReport server. So publish report and the same instead of download we have to give publish report and we go to browse select the reports that are there in that folder and click OK. Now we will be asked for the design. I am selecting the default design. Once the reports have been published, we will get a message similar to how we got it when we downloaded that the reports have been successfully published and would you like to publish additional resources. Click on no, then the report will be closed and it will be published to the server properly. So in this video, we learned how to create reports and run the reports from the data visualization tab in the data archive. We also learned how to download and publish reports from the JReport server to JReport designer and to also publish it back from the JReport designer to the JReport server. Hope this video was helpful. We would like to hear feedback from you please give the feedbacks in the below links provided. Thank you.